She's never seen so many seniors in her life. Yeah, good. So, I was part of the group that helped get this thing started. Yeah. This is our fifth summer here. Yeah. And when we first started, we had the county was nice enough to provide us with nets, but we had to put them together every day. Okay. We didn't have these beauties here. Yeah. Yeah. So we kept everything in that box. Yeah. And we had tape. We were constantly, the the court. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, uh, we, we went from like regular indoor painters tape to outdoor, which stuck a lot better because we were constantly battling oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm sure. But now it's painted now. Now it's painted. And so the dominant line color out here is white. Typically, the basketball court would be colored white. So we would work with DPR and say, hey, they were okay to do that. Playing yeah. basketball, then basketball. So let's make the basketball line to dominate. Yeah. Yeah. You also notice that there's no basketball. Well, sideline here either. Mm -hmm. There's one less line on the court. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. That's right. I assume this is the same sideline for basketball as the It could be. It could be. Yeah. Yeah, and I can see when you're playing pickleball, you want to see those white lines. When you're playing basketball, you don't. It's not such a deal that you can tell where. Yeah. yeah. And there's, we've never really had, we've never had any incidents here with basketball because, frankly, the kids that show up every now and then. They just shoot baskets for 15, 20 minutes, get bored, and go away. And, uh, well, it might be, if stuff. I were a kid thinking of shooting baskets and I looked here, I probably wouldn't I mean, there's um, that, right? Yeah, that's the other thing. I mean, so. There is all of that. Yeah, exactly. There is all of that. But that's fine. I mean, we, we can well, figure out how to do that. And there's yeah, enough other places for kids to play. I mean, TJ, Thomas Jefferson, not too far. Not too far. Not too far. Yeah. Kids don't turn their balls. I mean, just. Yeah. just yeah. Saying, sure. you know, there is other because there's a lot to keep in mind. Right. You know, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you've got the nets and everything. So these do these just stay here? They can roll to the side. Yep. Yep. They can cool. move if they're movable. Yep. That's great. You just have to do a little maintenance on them if you notice the black tape and the yellow tape on it. Well, I would think anything that sits around outside gets run into every now and then. That's these little things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I think why don't we um. Introduce me and, and the keys to the group. We'll keep you guys in the shade. Okay. Okay, that sounds fine. Why don't you keep the group in the shade too, maybe? Hey, guys. Guys. Hey, 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 it's great. It's great to see everybody out here. Uh, I'm Helen White, in case you don't know who I am. I'm a USA Pickleball District Ambassador serving um, the Northern Virginia and D.C. area, trying to promote pickleball. Um, so I'm very pleased, very delighted to have two very important people in our, from Arlington here with us today to meet you and to learn about why we would like to work with them to get more pickleball courts in Arlington. So Nagish Jordan here is the Division Chief. Yep. For facilities and services, she's been responsible for the lines that we see on the court, the nets, and a whole bunch of other things that she does behind the scenes. And Libby Darby, who's uh, one of our long-standing favorite. Oh, I've been on, members. I've been in elected office for a really long time. <laughs> yeah. So you I thought. Young. Oh, thank you, thank you. It's been a long time. Yes, yeah, so I thought I'd turn it over to them to just say what you a, few like words. To say a few words. A few words. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, maybe I'll go first because okay. you. So Nikisha's got the details and the whatever. I just know the general. For one, everybody here is important. Um, you know, I don't. I don't feel like we're more important. Everybody's important, right? That's part of the whole way a democracy works and this community works. So, thank you all for coming. Those of you in the sun, would you like to come in the shade? It's awfully hot there. I mean, you're welcome to stand in the sun if you want, but it looks it's pretty hot today. Um, anyway, I'm glad to be here. I've heard a lot about pickleball. I was telling Helen I had a trip um, over to Germany to look at their energy the energy programs that they're doing over there because they're so far ahead of us. Um, it was within Northern Virginia Regional Commission. No taxpayer dollars went for it. It was actually paid for by a German energy group talking with elected officials. So I'm always picking their brains about what else is going on. And one of them, in, and I think it was in Hamburg, and he said, so we have this sport. Have you ever heard of pickleball? <laughs> he said, oh. <"Ew." laughs> 
Yes, I have. It reminded me of a conversation a couple of years earlier, but sort of, have you ever heard of these scooters? Have you heard of scooters? Anyway, we're all kind of, it's, it's a phenomenon everywhere. I was just saying, I think pickleball must, we must be wired as humans to play pickleball somehow. It feels like, you know, it's, it's bigger than ping pong, it's smaller than tennis, and it probably is just perfect for a whole lot of people, which is clear. I love the, the age diversity and, you know, anybody can do it, which is what I hear, and that's just, that's great. It's wonderful to see everybody out there, out here playing. Boy, do we need to be building community these days? So this is great to see. Um, and then Nikisha, I don't know if you want to give them any details, but I'm pleased to hear about, I, I did not know about how we had painted yeah. the lines and everything. Thank you for all that work. Thank yeah, you. Absolutely, Go ahead. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey everyone, um, I'm super grateful to be here. Um, it's, it's so great to see how, how much the sport has grown over the last several years. I know, you know, pre-COVID folks were playing inside and then COVID hit and Okay. Uh, so pre-COVID, people were playing inside, and, and, and post-COVID, lots of people have come outside to play. Like Libby mentioned, you know, it's a great sport to have lots of different people from lots of different backgrounds and communities to be here. Um, I work really closely with the Arlington Pickleball Club uh, to you know, make sure that we're providing you all with the equipment and the lines and, and the space that you need to continue to play. Uh, we're looking forward to continuing being your partners. Um, looking forward to uh, Walter Reed being in the place and the site of the designated court. So uh, there's, a, there's a lot coming in, in, in the near future and we're really excited about it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you both. Uh, does anybody have any questions for uh, Libby or Nikish? Libby, when are they gonna turn, the, uh, turn this into a dedicated court? I don't know. I mean, and I was talking, I mean, there are kids who come to play basketball, you know, and, and I know maybe Mountain Amount many come. So I would say, so don't, if I were, a child over here particularly don't don't take it badly a child of color and i saw this group i wouldn't come to play <laughs> because i went so i'm just saying and so we need to keep in mind everybody that needs things so we are looking at de dedicated courts and i think nikish could answer that question better than i um but i think we do need to keep in mind as a county board member i need to think about everybody and you know you need to think about even the people who aren't here that we don't hear from and make sure that we're serving them as well so there's a whole lot going on. I love the way we've got the two lines. So you can play basketball, at least shoot hoops if you want, or you can do pickleball. So we're gonna have to find a way to coexist. So there is some of that going on too. So I, I don't know the answer about when we're planning to do it. Do you, Nikki? No, uh, I know that we have um, money uh, set aside in, in, in the CIP, uh, which I believe it comes to- We're vote voting on Tuesday. On, on Tuesday yeah. for that. Um, you know, the, the plans are to, if everything goes according to plan, is to uh, convert those tennis courts over there to dedicated pickleball courts. I don't have a time frame for that. Uh, that is the decision of our planning and development team, uh, which the pickleball club has been in contact with. Uh, so we will definitely keep you all posted like, as that progresses, for sure. Um, but, but we do know that um, Walter Reed has been um, the, the dedicated or decided dedicated place for those courts to take place. It's, Central County, we see right now, lots of people are coming out. There's plenty of parking, both um, in, the, in the parking lot and also street parking. And they have um, bathrooms here. And there's bathrooms here, absolutely. <laughs> and, and, and air conditioning and water fountains inside. Right. So um, so yeah, so we're, we're, we're really looking forward to that project, like once that project kicks off. Maybe As of now, your, we don't have a time frame for when it will start. Maybe though. in your, you know, well, in the Arlington thing that goes out or whatever, maybe you can promote, I mean, have people like for instance, Arlington uh, Montessori School, the old Patrick Henry, there's a full court there. I live a couple blocks from there. It is never used. <laughs> I mean, there's a playground and a full court. So I think that also if we put out that where are more basketball courts, because it's kind of hard if you have all three courts filled and people waiting, and then one kid comes with a ball. Really? <laughs> Yeah, I, th I think that is a challenge of trying to balance mm -hmm. the needs of even the one person, right? Or the 20 people who are who are playing yeah, pickleball. So, I mean, and that's a, so but, I think if you, you know, put a list of where are there basketball, you know, like Penrose Park and, you know, um, Demonte Park, Arlington Park, you know, you can put it in there. Yeah. And enclosed. Yeah, no, it's all, it's all right. So, it, you know, I don't want to, you don't want to make you angry. Yeah. <laughs> but kids with basketballs, they don't tend to have cars. So it can be harder for them to get someplace, whereas everybody here, I think, probably drives. So no. there's that. There's a whole lot. Of that, and I, it's good if you don't, but you don't need to. I just think there's a balance. And so I understand when Nikish is saying, you know, we got we to get it in the CIP. And it sounds bureaucratic and it's frustrating. I get that. And I actually, part of the role that you all play is pushing us to do it faster. That's good. I mean, everybody's got kind of a role. But 
there are things that we have to do and there are other priorities and it's just as a county board and even as a rec department there's a whole big county out there with a whole lot of needs that you have to balance and i understand you guys are advocating for pickleball which is good and it's absolutely your role and it's important to serve what people want to have i get that um so but we're so we're not moving quite as fast as you'd like but we're probably moving faster than we would have without you so hopefully we will all get there but it's great to see and i will say the waiting I hear you, but I've been told over and over again how wonderful it is waiting and building a community and that that's part of the fun. So you might want to change your message if that's a problem. <laughs> I have two points on demographics. Number one, yeah, sure. one, one that's not represented here today is the younger demographic. My, uh -huh. I have an 11-year-old son. Everybody knows me as AJ's dad. They don't know my name, yeah. but they know AJ. Helen's worked with AJ. Great kid. Loves pickleball, but he loves baseball. He loves lacrosse, all those things. I think pickleball has helped his other sports with eye-hand sure. coordination and so on. The reason why you don't see any children of any color is because of all the adults here. There's no. I guarantee you, if you had more courts, more availability, the kids would play. I've talked to a few kids. One boy came with his sister with their paddles to play. Uh, we also have many people of color that play this sport. So yeah. no, I don't. Sure, I don't sure think. Yeah, I don't it's think just, there's an issue I'm with that. There's a whole lot but I would say more on the availability of courts, and I think that's why you don't yeah. see more children. I think Helen, you agree. If there were more courts, I think you would see more children. They have lots and lots of yeah. kids that do the camps, that get training. But I think for them, it's an intimidation factor. If you're new and you're a kid, you don't know this sport. If there are other kids playing. You're intimidated. You don't even want to get on the court. Right. Well, and maybe that, and no, maybe schools to need to follow up. Pick, to follow up with you, we have no other place to play outside, more or less. We need more pickleball lines on underused tennis right. courts, and we've got lists of how many people are playing when. So, meanwhile, until we get and while this is being renovated, we need other places to play. Yeah. And okay. and Tony's children. And many of the others, and many of the many of us, would go on to other places if we had them, uh, had yeah. a place. So, so I, I think, one of the things I said, okay. do you talk to APS? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. Let's talk about what it because they've got a lot of courts, right? Yeah. But, yeah. So, so currently we have 19 uh, outdoor courts. I think most of you all are familiar with those courts, and we're also balancing the needs of having opportunities indoors. Um, hopefully you all uh, participated in the pickleball court survey that we put out earlier in the fall and again uh, this spring. Um, that process will help us to identify which courts to uh, strike pickleball courts on, right? Mm -hmm. So we know that many years ago, Pete and I were coming out here with Helen with tape and we were taping, we were sweating, you know, taping, taping the courts and then the courts would be torn up, what, like 30 minutes later and afterwards? <laughs> So we actually do have a plan, a plan to continue to add more uh, pickleball courts. Will I still be alive? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, you will still be alive. You will definitely still be alive for that. So, Although there are no guarantees. <laughs> <laughs> I might not be here tomorrow. How many guard you got? Sports got um, Glebe and Bon Air. They're underused tennis courts, so let's let's strike them, yeah, and then it, our it, children and we, our spouses, can play. Yeah, yes, it, it, I think uh, Fort Scott and Cleve were pretty high up on that on that list How about of, of places. I'm, I can't remember no. or recall it's off the top of my head that much. Bon Air on it's that on list. list. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this thanks. is the fastest growing sport of it's the people future, 65 really. and over yeah, yeah, yeah. in the country. Yeah, yeah. So you either get in front of that or you get behind yeah, it, and, and that's all. So probably in that fact sheet that Helen gave you, <clears throat> prior to the pandemic, we had about plus minus 300 people in the pickleball club. We're over 1,300 now. <clears throat> Helen and another group um, are doing classes all through the summer, so we're adding how many people? Roughly every three months. Uh, at least a hundred, well, probably 150 people every month. Yeah, every, every brand new month. people. Brand yeah. new people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and the over 65 demographic is growing real fast, I know. And she teaches a lot of the uh, young people. Yeah. I mean, yes. like, yeah. but where, the, where, where can they play? Ten, 11, I know it feels seven. frustrating to everyone, but if we really think back to three years ago, we had three sports outdoors, right? And in three years' time, we've added. This is our fourth fort. summer here. Okay, we're here. Yeah. yeah okay, right here. so five years ago, right? Five years I have ago, there were. From day one. Yep. So five years ago, there were no outdoor indoor courts, right? And, and and the department worked with you all to strike these as a, as a pilot program. I think it was a pilot for two or three years, right? So and you then gave we got us these. Dean. What'd you say? You, you gave us Jenny Dean Park. I remember because I was on the committee. That was OSAP. That was Jackie. That was OSAP. That was. Right, so we had no courts, then we had three courts for a while, and then we added a court or two, I think, at, um, at Glebe, so that went to five courts, and over the past two years, we've striped 
uh, well, with, with the pickleball club's help, we striped uh, an additional three, three courts over there. So it's, it's not like we're not doing anything, right? We, we, we are doing something. We, we are trying to respond to the need. We understand that pickleball is a very, very fast growing sport. Uh, we're looking to uh, make sure that our indoor offerings and our outdoor offerings aren't conflicting, but that we're also offering times you know, where if there's an overflow, you can go inside and play pickleball at, at Walter Reed, or you can go inside and play uh, pickleball at Arlington Mill and, and Lever Run. So I think when you look at all of the pickleball courts that we have um, as a whole, you have somewhere between like 25, 26 courts that, that can be used for pickleball. Now, not dedicated courts. I look at you looking at me, Tim, not dedicated <laughs> courts, right? But there's, there's 25 or 26 courts that pickleball can be played. And we've been working with you all to uh, identify the times that best suits the needs of most pickleball players. And we know that we can't get it 100% right, but we're definitely trying. We're trying to offer opportunities for the kids to play. We're trying to offer opportunities for those people who work all day and, and come in, you know, they're coming to play and work out like after five o'clock. So, I mean, it is this full at night. I know. I'm like people, here on people my age. I was going to say, and it's a younger crew. It is, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, you know, the, the after work crew, so I, I often play here. Yeah. yeah. That's great. That's great. Saturdays yeah. is packed here. Oh, you know, I was here a couple Saturdays yeah. ago. Seven yeah. days yeah. a week. Like yeah. day after Thanksgiving, yeah. you can play here. Thanksgiving morning, people yeah. come yeah. and play. Yeah. Yeah. So like, it's not what you want yet, yeah. but it's pretty good. And I think thank you to Nakish and everybody for. I mean, yeah. obviously, a lot of work's been happening yeah. to make to make to get us to this point. Yeah, we need yeah. to do one more. I totally. Is we plan for growth, and yeah. one of the questions in my mind is, when will we be bigger than tennis? Because yeah. tennis gets lots of dollars and lots of land. Within the next say five, ten years, we are going to be bigger than ten. Oh, I think we'll be and like, maybe already. Yeah. And, and then this is just you know, damn it, for whatever reason, when my generation was young, tennis was the thing. I suppose pickleball existed. I'd have to look at the history sometime. Um, anyway, it's we are working on it. It's great. I think you want to move on. I want to you know let people play oh, sure. pickleball yeah, like yeah. you want to. Let's go to Libby and uh, Nikki. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're just a, an email away or whatever. You know, I live right down the road there. So anyway, this is. This you should come and play. You should come and yeah, play. Maybe one time. We're going to find a bug. No, we get some balls. We got to go over there and, and we got the other thing. You got to go. Yeah, this, this, is is the, this is the big, the, 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 the top players. Hey, and we need to see the cracks and balls. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the millennials are out here. No, it's great. A whole nother group. Yep. Yep. Because then there's a variety of. Well, then a cluster. Do a lot of pickup games. Yeah, yeah, we call yeah. it a cluster of courts. We don't want the one, yeah. one tennis court yeah. line for yeah. one pickleball court. That just doesn't work. This is great. We're going to work on this. Thank you. That's all I have to say. It was good. No, no. I've, I've gotten that point. Um, okay. So it's these, great. These people used to play, I think, at Walter Reed indoors. Uh huh. More. Uh huh. Hey, John. How are you doing? Good, how are you? All right. Thanks for coming over today. Yeah. Everybody's gone. Yeah. Uh, hey, you again? How you doing, son? How you doing? Slot it over here, I see. I want to play. Take a question. Okay, we can. Yeah, I can. Um, mixed ages that are here from 89 yeah. to 22, yeah, every day. Uh -huh. And, um, the fun people have. Yeah. Um, we're trying to get the county to put a... Uh, yeah. Oh, are you? You should move over one more chair and be in a shade more, though. I think. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't want to get your head off. Good morning. We need one more player. Um, hey guys! Woo! Oh, you got the new support, don't we? Hey, look who's here! Hey. Oh, yeah, I'll give you a hug. How are you? Yeah, I've, I've been waiting on my morning. Oh, I'm sorry! I've been over there! Oh, that's fine. <laughs> 
We're going to put you in the shade. Maybe we'll put I'm in the shade. Yeah. I'm in the shade. Here's the keys. Yeah. We're good. I think we'll have players over here. Yeah. 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 Come on over on this side, folks. Somebody. Yeah. Some gentleman came over and told me to ask you about when you say this place. Oh, yeah, yeah. Howard. Yeah. 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 Hey, how is Judy doing? She's doing great. Good. Good, 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 good. I was so sorry to miss that event thing. I was like, that was a video. Away. She's going to be talking this way. I don't know if you saw the video. I'll yeah. send it to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah do. Please do. Right down you want us to be in the middle? I do. But, yes. you're, but you've got your back to all these people. Well, they have That's a choice. Okay. They have a choice to get back to you or not. You know, I, I'm going to stand. I'm going to. I'm going to disobey. Whether I'm going to stand here with the teacher because then everybody's like this. I feel much better. I have my back to the wall. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I need a leader. <laughs> okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Helen White. Um, I serve as your district ambassador, USA Pickleball District Ambassador, and my volunteer job is to pro promote pickleball from Fredericksburg into DC. Arlington, Fairfax, Loudoun, whatever. And uh, I'm just really delighted to have two very important people in Arlington, the Arlington uh, community, to be with us today to say a little bit about pickleball and maybe plans for the county for helping us grow this sport and meet the needs of all the players. And then we'll, uh, then we'll have time for questions and answers. Okay, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Lily. Yeah, Would you like to that's go fine. first? I'll go first. Is a little, and I, I'll say just like I did the last time, everybody here is important. We're all important, right? And it's just great to see everybody here and get a sense of what's you know going on. It's, it's getting hot this morning, but look at everybody out here. And I love seeing the different ages. And it sounds like just everybody's having a great time. We are working as hard and as fast as we can to get more pickle and catch up. Keeping in mind the rest of the county and there are people who do play basketball, there are people who still play tennis, there are people who do So we have to kind of keep them in mind too. So it's a balancing act. And I will turn it over to Nikki. She's the one who makes it happen. He's the one that makes it happen. And uh, Nikisha and that and the staff have really made a huge effort and made a great strides in five years. You were talking about that. Yes. Um, and it doesn't feel like enough, I know, but we also need to acknowledge what we've done and we will keep moving at it. Um, I appreciate the advocacy because that's how I do my work. When I hear from a lot of people that they want something, then I know that's what I need to be providing because we are here to serve you. But again, we have to keep in mind a lot of other different groups as well. All right. Nice. Would you just Identify yourself, please. I didn't oh, get your name. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Libby Garvey, I am on the county board. Um, there are five of us on the county board. I was on, I've was i been on the county board for 10 years. Before that, I was 15 years on the school board um, and uh, been serving the county for a long time and delighted to be here. Does that do it? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Nikesh Jordan. I'm the division chief for athletic and facility services. Uh, essentially, what that means is I oversee all of the community centers and our outdoor pickleball courts and the places where you all play. Um, again, like Libby mentioned, it's so great to see all of you out here. Uh, I know this group has grown tremendously over the last two years. Um, and again, we're working very hard uh, to make sure that you all have all the equipment you need, the course that you need, and hopefully very soon dedicated pickleball courts. I know that's uh, probably on the forefront of everyone's mind. Um, but please feel free to reach out to me directly if you have questions about our plan and the process. Or you can go through the Pickleball Club, Helen, Brian, or Adri. Uh, they will be sure to get that information to me. But thank you for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Before you go, we don't want you to forget about us. <laughs> Adrian, I'm never going to forget about you. <laughs> Give them one they can actually play with. So you wear those to every important meeting. They're, they're built by our very own Diane, wherever she is. Yep. Very cute. Does anybody have any questions for Nikisha or Libby? Can I ask what the plan is for this course and when? Yep, I think that'll be Nikisha. All right, uh, so time frame, I don't know when, uh, but we have identified this as a spot for the dedicated courts. Um, there is a process that it has to go through, like the CIP, and then after, or if that gets approved, uh, we'll Capital Improvement Program, that does the money, and we're voting on Tuesday. Okay. Okay. Um, and then after that, that will kind of start the ball rolling in terms of like next steps for that. I have a question. Do we, once you, the board approves the CIP, do we voters need to approve something in November? Oh yeah, you do. Bonds. We put, because that's how we pay for this, the capital improvement program. And there are a lot of general obligation bonds and you probably have seen them every two years they come out. And it does all the important stuff like pickleball and the stuff that maybe you don't notice, but it's also important like uh, 
the sewers and the water, storm water, and everything that's underground that makes the place work um, and costs a lot of money. So that's that's all on it, and we do hope for your approval of the bonds. Yes, thank you. This is how much money is allocated <coughs> in the plan for these courts. Um, I don't have that figure off the top of my head, but I will uh, check in with uh, our planning and development folks and, and get back to you all as soon as yeah. I have that information. Yeah. Maybe we could send Helen, like there's probably a page in the CIP with yeah. pickleball and the court, all outlined. I mean, there's a lot of detail there which we can send out. Is there any chance to keep these courts open while the new ones are being built? Or else, um, where are we going to play? No. So these, these, <laughs> I'm just asking the question. Yeah, I enjoy coming here every day. It's hard enough to dodge these is, cracks, let alone bulldozers. That is, that is a very good question. Um, so these courts would not be available because this is part of the surfaces that, that would be okay. completely torn up to get the new courts in. Um, we have a plan, uh, and that plan would be to make sure that we have other places outdoors for everyone to, to play. Nice. Thank um, you. Part of Part of the information that we're going to use to inform of where those courts are going to go is based on the information you all provided during our pickleball engagement survey that came out uh, in the fall and then again this past March. So there's a list of priorities. Um, I may I know that Glebe and Fort Scott I think were on top of that list. There were some a uh, few other places because uh, we're looking to do this equitably, right? So having some courts in North Arlington, having some courts in South Arlington as well. Uh, but we will definitely lay out that plan prior to the bulldozers coming here and tearing up the courts. Yeah. Right. Don't try to play with the bulldozers. I have a segue question. Um, even without this redevelopment and a, and a dedicated space, I think that the multi-use court approach is still very important. Yeah. And so even when we don't have this undergone, you know, undergoing with tractors and whatever. What other facilities will be striped for multi-use? Yeah. And, and you know, is there a thought about times or reservations or yeah. drop-in? So uh, again, much of the information that you all provided to us kind of lays out where those courts are going to be, those multi-purpose courts. Uh, unfortunately, the work and the timing of that doesn't lay within my shop. Uh, so I would have to work with my, my colleague to get that actual time frame out for you all. Uh, but it's, it's not going to be five years for now, right? Because we know that striking the lines doesn't take five years to do on, on multi-use courts. Uh, but, but there is a plan and we will definitely share that plan with, with you all. disconnected from this? Yes, so that has nothing to do with this, right? Because what, what we knew and what you all were, were telling us and what we saw during COVID was is that we, we needed additional places to play, right? While um, I don't think that there's necessarily an issue with waiting in line for things, right? It's like you buy your concert tickets in advance and you still have to wait in line. Um, but, but we really wanted to make sure that we have opportunities for everyone in different parts of the county to play. Um, so that that is going to happen regardless of the timeline of this, of this taking place. Uh, yeah. A follow-up question. I, I was told by one of the planners that striping courts on a multi-court surface like this would be part of the couldn't be done until the CIP was approved and funded. Wow. So I'm going to turn that to you. Yep. Why so, so a I, thousand I, dollar project so, is in the CIP? So, I don't understand. Yep. So I, I don't know about that uh, information, Helen. I'll have to check back with Bethany and her team, the planners, to, to find out like what that's about. Um, I will just guess that it's not a thousand dollar one line item. It's like all the painting together in one lump project something that's my guess yeah. that's often how we do it so it's not I mean that they'll be itemized as what's in there but what we're voting on in the thing is a whole chunk of money for these striping stuff everywhere if that makes sense what will the design be um, I mean I know you guys put in new courts at Lover Run but um, the best courts are going to be the ones that have individual fences around each one is that what's planned for this Adrian facility so, so I always print these out and give them to you over okay. and over oh, yes, again. Yes. This is our dream. They're not great to play on. Yeah. So it was a, a wonderful that's here, kind of initiative, that's here. but um, there are better ways to put in courts. So, so we're not there yet in terms of like what the actual court layout will be, but there will be some sort of public engagement around like what. Yes, exactly. exactly. Yeah, that's exactly. Can you say that again? I, I said we're going to get your input before we just <laughs> lay, you know, the courts out. Better to do it right the first time. Yep. Yes. yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Which is why we don't do things instantly. Sometimes people get upset. We're not just boom, but you got to think about it and you got to do it right. <clears throat>
including this, I'm, I mean, I'm glad to hear, I'm sorry that these will be offline, but I'm glad to hear we're going to be completely redoing it so that it holds up and you don't, you know, because otherwise the cracks just yeah. come back. Yeah. Do you have any idea how long it'll take? I, I don't. I don't. Just put what? expedited in the contract. <laughs> <laughs> we heard everything was approved for 2023, but every, now they're saying it's going to be 2024. Yeah. What's the status on that? Same. Um, been done. Uh, I, I don't I don't have that information again I'll have to reach out to our planners to, to get the timeline and to follow up on some of the other conversations that have been uh, had with pickleball players and the planners I presume the contracts have to be let I mean it's done it's not done by county employees it's done by contractors exactly right but first we have to get the money yes, right? yeah so, so we can't do anything un until we get that money it has to be planned and it has to be RP. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay. And thank you for Helen for organizing this thing. You are, is there anybody in particular we need to engage? No, I think you're doing fine with the county board. Let's let us get our, you know, the, the CIP passed. We got to do that. We, we're dealing with something called missing middle. You've probably heard about that. So people are a little busy. I also think everybody needs to just take a deep breath for August. So come back at us in September. How's that? And board, board, it's good to, you know, drop in on a, an open door Monday every now and then. The nice thing about open door Monday is different people come with all different issues. And a part of the reason I like it is because people hear things. So there might be people here talking about pickleball. Somebody else is talking about basketball. Somebody else is talking about butterflies. Somebody's talking about potholes in the street. Somebody's talking, I mean, it's just everything. So it's kind of fun. Yeah. Great. Great. All right. Can we give it a oh, bless you. Uh, on behalf of the pickleball community, we'd like to give you give you your first. Pickleball oh, look at this! Very cute. Yeah. To go with the earrings, it's great. It's great. Yeah, that's yeah. 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 probably yeah. better. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, so let's give it up for Nikisha and Liberty. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Thank you for your yeah. Thank you all. Everybody, stay cool. Stay hydrated. And play pickleball. Yeah. Thank you. Was yeah. there a start?